Governor Hochul, she's at it again, and she is calling on social media giants to crack down on illegal marijuana shops, you guys. Oh, my goodness, this is so crazy. Governor Kathy Hochul is planning to call out major social media platforms, accusing them of promoting illegal marijuana shops in New York. It's a problem the state and city have struggled to combat. The governor is expected to call on tech giants such as Meta and Google to stop the promotion of illegal cannabis shops on their platforms. There have been several calls for action from the cannabis industry as they say it this hurts legal operators and takes dollars away from the state. At Wednesday's press conference, she'll be joined by licensed cannabis operators. I feel like she's just grandstanding on this, but nonetheless, Governor Hochul is expected to demand Google Maps stop directing users to shops <clears throat> complete with reviews that may appear to normalize illegal activities. It could be hard for any user to tell the difference between licensed businesses and illegal stores with numbers, links, and addresses that only would lure customers in. Meta, which operates Instagram and Facebook, said in a previous statement in part that they, in quotes, prohibit content in both ads and organic pages that promotes the buying and selling of drugs, including marijuana. While there are 77 licensed cannabis retailers in the state, the city estimates at least 1,500 retailers are operating illegally. And at Wednesdays, which is today, 1215, which is just 20 or so, 20, 25 minutes ago, an announcement other enforcement efforts that may steer the industry in the right direction are expected to be detailed. And if that comes out, we will cover that tomorrow on High of Nine News. But man, oh man, oh man, this lady is just grasping at straws. And I don't think she has a clue as to what to do. But nonetheless, this is Jason Beck for the High of Nine News. What do you guys think about this? I mean, Lugial. prohibition Lugial. at it again. But it's, I mean, crazy. I guess my, my question is... Do they do the same thing with enforcement if somebody is Retail. is selling liquor without a selling booze without a liquor license? Like, do they do they go to uh, Google and demand that they deplatform those people, or do they just go in and do their normal enforcement? I mean, I mean, well, Google I'll say, can't figure I'll, out how to do anything because they want to be a First Amendment protected platform not a publisher and so that battle is going on externally in the courts right now and internally if you say oh you've got to identify that they're legal i mean it, no they're not going to watch for that i mean i might i get a facebook just inundated all day long with mm -hmm. ads for people buying what i consider to be questionably legal products Mail them right to your goddamn house. Mm -hmm. How are you think you're going to attack that by some, oh, I'm the governor. I'm going to tell you to stop. They're going to pass a law. The answer is, yeah, fuck you. Step around the back. We got what you want, okay? Mm -hmm. Just, it's nonsense. Mm -hmm. It is a dumb law. But to be clear, from a tech perspective, it's actually very easy to do, and I have a very good solution. So Google, Facebook, Instagram, anybody, if you need if you need some consulting on that, shamelessly, please reach out to me. I, I, I know the fix for you. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, this is this is the thing to me with this is like is is just so 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 ridiculous. I mean, but at the same time, it's it, it's really not because they did manage to censor conservatives on social media platforms. And so to me, this is just the same thing, but just to cannabis businesses, whether they're legal or illegal, because they, they because they do both maintain the policy of not uh, advertising cannabis, even though there's so many trappers pages I find regularly or find my page actually regularly on uh, on Instagram and whatnot. And I, th like a majority of, of followers that, that, that I see that start to follow the page are, are like just accounts that just only do stories and seem as though that they uh, they, they are just out there to trap. It's like throwaway accounts. Yeah, burner accounts. Mm -hmm. Just like the burner distros they got in California. Oh, I was going to say something else when oh, we yeah. came to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this, Rico? The governor, the governor going to call on social media companies to tell Google Maps, hey, stop advertising these illicit, illicit trap shops and don't let people write reviews and have your phone number on there. I mean, these are actually, most of them are legal businesses that, that just happen to additionally sell weed like a lot of them are just normal head shops and so like how how, how, how i think google's gonna have their hands tied with this yeah i don't know how this is even gonna work out whatsoever i mean that's a big ask and and businesses are gonna pop up every single day so there's no way to eradicate it all it's like 
it just makes no sense none of this i mean the way to eradicate it is to issue enough licenses into the market that trapping becomes it not never, really a, a, it, a financially it, viable way to survive I, so and make it easy to become legal and then you don't have this problem. i agree that's with you what, so that's hum. what they should be spending their their time doing i agree with you so home but let me tell you something that will never happen in new york okay for a couple of different reasons one we don't have interstate commerce yet for one and the reality is the state of new york doesn't have enough infrastructure in place to actually produce high quality products like what are produced in the state of california so therefore their power grid's not not substantial enough to have indoor and so all they offer is this boof outdoor stuff that's by the hemp growers that is already two years old that's still being sold on shelves today so that's not a realistic fix in new, new york. york does not have a power grid capable of powering indoor nope. cultivation not 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 on not on massive scales like we have in california not even close not even close. i wouldn't i would like to see more oh I, I i could i could go over the whole thing with you sometime if you you know you got some time it's a pretty pretty large city that they have there so i i would the, be surprised if their if their grid was incapable no of their supporting stuff their stuff is totally cultivation. their stuff is totally incapable of, of facilitating large-scale grows in the state of new york they have rolling blackouts all day every day interesting I, i'd be i'd be curious to to see more about that okay happy to show you well i can tell you i've had um, people look at buildings and areas for me and we need to find out what's the infrastructure if we're growing indoor and it, you know you'd be surprised so um, how much it takes to get infrastructure into a building that's going to burn through electricity to grow weed yep uh, and you can't do it. it's expensive even in california pull the infrastructure in is is almost prohibitively expensive even if you have access to electricity so it it's a mess trying to get these things set up for indoor cultivation mm -hmm. i mean i think to be clear i'm sure that applies in a lot of states like texas for sure i think would be having serious serious problems if they had large-scale indoor cultivation i'm sure a lot of like smaller states as well but New York, I would, I'm, I'm open to it if that's if that's the truth, and so be it. But I just, I've never heard that, and I'd, I'd be interested in learning more about it. Mm -hmm. Very, very true. 